Well, they're vacation buddies, friends off the pitch, and now they're soon to be teammates. I've got Paul Pogba here with me as well as Romelu Lukaku. So, of course, welcome to Manchester United. Paul, what was your reaction when that news broke? Well, I always knew he, would. he wanted to play with me, so... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. Is he lying? You didn't no, want to no, play no, with him. No. We just knew it would happen one day. Yeah, it would, yeah, we knew it would happen one day. One day, I don't know when and where. And uh, now it's happening, so I'm very, I'm very happy for that. So he didn't take too much convincing? I don't think so. I mean, it was just left that I was in Manchester United, but obviously for me, uh, if I can push, I will push. But it's not, it's not my decision, by the way. It's not my decision. But it's the manager's decision. It's the, all the technique, the staff. But obviously, I think the players, we all happy that he's, that he's, he's playing for playing for United and we very really happy for that year. Now I know he has a bit of a mischievous side so how excited are you to play with him now at Manchester United or do you know he has a couple tricks up his sleeve? No, I'm really happy, I'm delighted. I always said that the moment we come, like when we were younger, I always said like the day, there will, there will be a day that we'll play together we can compete for, 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 for the trophies that we want to, to win and now the moment has arrived so I'm delighted. Uh, you know, it's nice to play with, with one of the best friends in the team and you know, now it's up to us to, 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 to challenge ourselves first of all and then the rest of the team to, to become better each day. Now like I said of course you guys have been vacation buddies here in LA for some time now hanging out looking like you're having a really good time so how did this friendship all start? How did you guys meet each other? Um, I have knew about him when I was 15 because he played against my brother uh, but that was already the first time I'm LA. My dad came to the house and he said, like, well, I must see this kid for France. Amazing. So I said, what's his name? He's like, Paul Pogba. And he's going to play for Manchester United. I'm like, okay. And then I started looking some videos up on YouTube. You know, like, when you're younger, that's what you do. You're trying to look for, to <laughs> for the guys <laughs> for the guys who are good at uh, your age. So I went and, and I was looking and then I, like, I knew he was a good player. And then we met for the first time um, at Stamford Bridge uh, when Chelsea played Man United and we were both in the stands looking at each other saying like what are we doing here but you know it was a game, great game to watch and to learn as well and after the game we started speaking, we exchanged numbers and you know we knew that uh, the year after it would be our year. He went to Juventus and did his thing, I went to West Brom and you know learned my trade in the Premier League and here we are now. And Paul, what about you? Did you hear about him too and look him up and see if you could beat him? <laughs> you say 15. He was, me, he was 13. <laughs> <laughs> I was even younger. Everybody knew about Romelu Lukaku. He was, I think when he was 11, he was playing for the first team already. So, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 so, you're like, oh, who's this guy? Now I could see some video. He was like 15 or 16, he was playing with, for the first team already. Yeah. So, yeah, obviously I knew about him. And uh, like he said, we saw, we saw each other during the game against um, Chelsea, against uh, Man United. And we started talking. We had the same dreams, same uh, goals. And we wanted to play. We were in, uh, in the stand. And we were, we were talking like, hopefully well, the day will come. You know, we just have to keep working hard. And one day we start playing, you know, for the team. And uh, we, keep in we keep in touch and uh, become uh, my best friend. Uh, outside the pitch and a big uh, a top class player. So I'm very, I'm very happy for him. Yeah. It's true, so said, so done. Now here you guys are today. So of course you said that you did look up videos on him and he's a bit older. So is there anything from his game that you wish he had? His power. Ooh. Nah, he's too powerful, this guy. He's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard when he was two, two years old, he could eat two Big Mac. Is that true? <laughs> Is that true? Two big Macs at two years old? He's a beast, this guy. He's a beast. He's not normal. I was big, big. I was always a, a big boy. So, like, when I was like uh, six months, like I, I was like the size of a of a 18 month year old child. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> but my parents, both of my parents are tall. Like my dad's six four, my mom's like five nine, something like that. So yeah. What about from Pogba's game? Skill is uh, is all on the pitch. The way he commands the game. Obviously, he's a midfielder, but his skill uh, and vision as a striker. You know, as a striker, you have to think more sometimes as a midfielder when the defense is unlocked. So if I would have uh, his vision and 
uh, I'm skillful, but you know, his skill, like to get away from tight spaces, I can add that to my game. I can score maybe 10, 10 to 15 goals more. All right, well, let's switch to another sport now, Paul, because I spoke with Romelu already, and he told me that he's the more skillful basketball player. Is that true? Skillful? No, I wouldn't say that. But he's a better more, one. Like I said, more powerful than... Uh, so he just bullies you on the court? Yeah, uh, he's... You know. Don't 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 try to go in a No, it's true. If, that you, if you play positions in basketball, you'll be uh, if you like if you'll be like the basketball size, right? The six seven, the six eight. You'll be the small forward, and I'll be the power forward. Yeah. You gonna take that ball? I take it. Yeah, I that's it. that's it. I, I would I say will, he's the king. You know, I, will, I will be the Westbrook. No, no. You will be the LeBron James. Yeah? It's a pretty powerful combo. Yeah. I'm gonna say Kevin Durant more because you're a three point shot. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin Durant. <laughs> I'll say Casey is well he also said he played you in basketball and beat you once and you didn't even want to shake his hand. Well he played Explain uh, yourself. It's true. It's true. I wouldn't true. say no, but we didn't play one v one. We played with the teammates. But when you play one v one, did he tell you? Oh no. Yeah, you beat me, but he still, did. but at the end of the day, basketball is a team sport. Yeah, but we're so talking I beat about you twice. I beat he you. He said you're a sore loser. I don't like to lose. Okay. Obviously, he doesn't like to lose. That's why he didn't tell you that he lost. Thanks. Right? Yeah, you don't need to tell that. <laughs> People don't want to know. <laughs> it's only the wins that count. You know that. Right? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, I lost when you play as a team. But Twice. 1v1. 1v1. Twice. I beat him. You beat no, him. It's okay. What about you? Know, I cannot always win. Well, I know you guys like music a lot as well. Who's a better singer or rapper? Really? He raps. <laughs> no arguments there. Nah, what kind really, of music? Yeah, uh, hip hop. Yeah. I like sometimes like because I will pick the beat. I, I like you know like I, I DJ my house, so I'll pick the beat and then he spits and then we gone. The beats, I put the lyrics. We just gone. Sometimes we just at the house like for two hours straight. Like we just, just go for fun. and just for fun. Just for fun. But it just stays in between us. We don't want to put it out there, you know, like our people. We just focus ourselves on the football test. But when we are home, we try to relax as much as we can. And when it's all said and done, at the end of both your careers, who would make the better analyst and who would make the better coach? Uh, I'll be the coach. It's, it's, pre it's pretty good at analyzing things because when we were playing, when I, when I was playing for, when I was playing last year, it's coming to my house. She came to my house and tell me, oh Paul, no, you should have done it. Look, look at there. Should have passed it there. Should have run there. Now you have to shoot. So it's very good on, on those kind of things. But I'm more like, maybe I'm more, how can I say that? I, mean, I will more talk to young people, young, you know, more close to people and tell, to, tell them, no, don't do this, you know, but it's different. You will be the coach, I will be the, the assistant, you know, more close to the, to the players, I think. I think uh, that yeah, will be for us. Hopefully. Yeah. Who knows? Time will tell India. All right, finally, before we go, Romalu, we know that there's an interesting story behind your number that you will be taking at Manchester United. What is it? Nine. And why? Because, uh, well, I always ask my mother what number, like, and I used to play with the 10 because my mother's birthday is on 10th of October, so it's the 10th, 10th month of the year, so that's why I played with number 10. But I asked for the number nine because, you know, I'm a striker, strikers play with number nine. It's a nice number and, you know, I asked the permission uh, to slap any Ibrahimovic, Ibrahim, so I want to thank him as well for allowing me to, to wear that number. So, yeah. Well, they're vacation buddies, friends off the pitch, and now they're soon to be teammates. I've got Paul Pogba here with me as well as Romelu Lukaku. So, of course, welcome to Manchester United. Paul, what was your reaction when that news broke? Well, I always knew he, would. he wanted to play with me, so... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. Not even. No. Is he lying? You didn't no, want to play with uh, him. It's, it's, we just knew it would happen one day. Yeah, it would, uh, yeah, we knew it would happen one day. One day, I don't know when and where. And uh, now it's happening, so I'm very, I'm very happy for that. So he didn't take too much convincing. I don't think so. I mean, it was just luck that I was in Manchester United, but obviously, for me, uh, if I can push, I will push. But it's not, it's not my decision, by the way. It's not my decision. But it's the manager's decision. It's the all the technique, the staff. 
but obviously I think the players we all happy that he's that he's, he's playing for he's playing for United and we're very happy for that year. Now I know he has a bit of a mischievous side, so how excited are you to play with him now at Manchester United or do you know he has a couple of tricks up his sleeve? No, I'm really happy, I'm delighted. I always said that the moment will come, like when we were younger, I always said like the day there will there'll be a day that we'll play together and we can compete for, 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 for the trophies that we want to, to win and now the moment has arrived so I'm delighted. Uh, you know, it's nice to play with which one of the best friends in the team and you know, now it's up to us to, 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 to challenge ourselves first of all and then the rest of the team to, to become better each day. Now like I said, of course you guys have been vacation buddies here in LA for some time now, hanging out, looking like you're having a really good time. So how did this friendship all start? How did you guys 